Hi, Scott from Digital Fish, and today I'm going to show you how to fill a fish. I'm using a snapper uh, as my model today to just teach you how to whip a couple of fillets off and uh, skin and bone it. So let's get going. First off, it is essential you use a very sharp knife. Sharp knives require less force and you are less likely to cut yourself. If you use a blunt knife, you are more likely to use more force and if you slip and cut yourself, you'll do a lot more damage. Sharp knives also cut more meat off the fish, so you get more to eat. This method works on most species of fish, e.g. Gurnard, John Dory, Trevally, Tuna, Terakihi, Kahawai. And to start off, we're going to lift the fin up here. And we're just going to make a cut down and behind the shoulder and up to the top. Quite a bit of meat up around here, so we want to get that. And when we cut, we don't cut straight down. We should cut the blade at a bit of a, at a 45 degree angle and cut it in there. Little cuts back some forwards and run the blade up into the shoulder there, okay? Like so. Then we turn the blade around near the head, okay? And, and just little cuts at first. Little cuts, okay? And just want the, the blade to move in about a finger's width as you cut in towards the backbone. Okay, and you want to run the, that knife down along the backbone there, not too deep at first. Just get a little cut going in, and you want to run that knife along that along the backbone and down towards the tail. Okay, and then when you get to the tail, push the knife all the way through between the fins there. Push it all the way through. Angle it slightly down so you run the blade along the backbone there. Okay. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the skin there, okay, so the skin, and we're going to cut close to the skeleton, okay, so you're always, you're, you're running the blade along uh, the bones, not cutting into the bones, but just running it along the bones so you keep that knife nice and close to the backbone. Carefully use the your thumb just to lift up the fillet like that. Okay, now it's going to take another couple of cuts just to get that in on the shoulder. Like so. Pull it up. Okay, and more small cuts. And then you get down towards uh, the skeleton, down towards the backbone through here. Just run the blade along the knife. Now when you get to the backbone, you want to angle the knife instead of angling it flat, you angle it slightly down to catch meat on the other side of uh, the central bone going down the middle there. Okay, now next, the, probably the trickiest part when it comes to filleting a snapper is really being able to run the knife over the rib cage without puncturing the stomach. Okay, so what we do is we cut further down here, turn the knife around so it comes in, we start to lift that up, and then just in through here, you've got a series of bones poking out down the middle of the fillet and you've got a series of bones over the rib cage. You want to try to cut in between those. Okay, so you're lifting it carefully. There we go. So that was it. See the bones there? Just run the knife between those two and then you carefully run the knife over the rib cage. So that way you don't puncture the, um, the stomach. Okay, and then you run the knife down through there. Just small cuts. It's best to do small cuts and make them accurate rather than big long cuts and make mistakes and cut and leave flesh out. Then lift the, lift the fin up so we can get under there. Again, just small cuts. There's not a lot of flesh between the skin and the rib cage there. On bigger snapper, you will get more, more uh, flesh there. So we just carefully run it down like so. And then separate like that. And there's your fillet just like that. Next thing we're going to do then is uh, take the skin off the fillet. Before we do that, I'm going to show you another way to take the uh, fillet off. The other way you can do it is if you want to, we'll try it on this side. All right, so lift the fin up again. Now we're cutting down, angling in, in towards uh, the head. All right, so cut it in there. Again, turn the knife around. Just very small cuts at first, just get the angle right. Make sure you're cutting down towards that skeleton. Running the knife carefully along uh, the bones there so you're catching all the fish. Get down to the tail, 
all the way through, angle it down slightly, and just run the knife along there, you're done. Then carefully lift this up. You don't want to be too forceful when you're lifting up this flesh, um, simply because you'll start ripping the fillet and you don't really want to do that. Okay, so just small cuts down along the skeleton, pull the knife down there. Right, second method. This time, the other way of doing it, I don't do this as much, but some people prefer to do it. You may find this the way that you like to fill a fish. It's actually, it's, it's actually cut down into that rib cage, so you do actually cut through. Like so. Okay, so obviously you can see the rib cage coming through there. All right, and then just separate the, that there. Cut down through. The rib cage. Like so. All right, and then we just trim that off. So just re remove the skeleton. This one's been eating kinna, I can smell it. So the second way of doing this is just then to run your knife down through those bones. Carefully, like so. There we go, and you end up with the fillet ready. And there we go, you end up with the fillet ready to skin. Okay, skinning takes a bit of practice. Snapper aren't too hard. To, uh, to skin, snapper, uh, sorry, carboy, um, fairly easy. Trevally are the hardest ones to skin. They've got very small, very thin skin, and uh, it's easy to miss, and then you find that you're not getting it very well. One old timer in the Bay of Plenty showed me you can make a cut this way that you hold, and then cut this way. If you've got a little bit of fingernail, just put your fingernail there. If you like to hold the fill a little bit close to the board, a little bit close to the edge of the board. All right, so I just dig my fingernail in, and just gently, just carefully, Start there. So when you're doing this, you're putting pressure down onto the skin as you're cutting uh, parallel. Okay, and always just it's always good just to lift it up and check to see how your progress is, and you may need to adjust the angle of the knife. Okay, and I like to pull the skin there, so holding pressure down like this, and just seesaw backs and forwards. Hold the knife down, hold the knife down. Now depending on the size of the fillet. I sometimes actually like to use the hand on holding the skin and I'll move that back and forwards to help the angle of the knife, all right? Like so, okay? And then we turn it over. Okay, so I haven't left too much uh, flesh on there and uh, now that's ready for boning. Okay, again, this is why it's really important to have a really sharp knife because you can end up hacking the fillet and uh, making a, a big mess out of it if your knife's not very sharp. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. Okay, just remove this. Bit of muscle from the fins. Okay, and so now what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, bone it, all right? If you don't like bones, if you like bones, keep the bones in, it's all fine. Uh, chefs will sometimes Take the bones like this and pull them out with tweezers. You can do that as well. Uh, if you've got a dinner party, you want to be really fancy, it's a good way of doing it. Essentially, you've got a row of bones right down coming through the middle here. They stop about here, roughly. What I like to do is cut on the lower side of the bones first, then the upper side, rather than upper and lower. So just carefully, again, small cuts, and just run that blade in close so you can feel the bones, all right, so you know we're cutting, all right. There we go. Cut it in small, small slices. All right, and then on the other side, you want to cut as close to the bones as you can and save as much meat as possible. All right. Let me lift that up. Cut like so. And there's all the bones right there. Now, if you don't want to waste it, uh, put it in a stock pot and uh, cook it up to make a, a seafood stock. Um, good way of using it if you want to. Otherwise, leave the bones in if you're not too fussed, but sometimes small kids get a bit fussy. Um, personal preference, really. And there's your snapper fillet, ready for eating. Skinned and boned. Remember, use all the fish. Once you have filleted your catch, 
cook the heads and frames, smoke or roast them, or boil them up for stock. If you don't have a use for the heads and frames, go to the website Free Fish Heads and find someone in your community who will take them. Don't waste your fish. Thanks for watching. This is Scott from Digital Fish with content that catches.